Okay, look, let's look at one more big management tool for Ubuntu systems, and that is a tool called Landscape. And I'm going to, I've got this open on a web browser, I'm going to throw it up over here so you can see it. Landscape is something that will allow you to manage multiple servers from a web interface. What happens is you create a landscape server, and then from that landscape server you register other servers with it uh, by installing the landscape client on those servers. And... Um, then you can web browse to that landscape server and manage those client servers. All right, so this is landscape. And there are a couple of limitations to it if we're not going to pay for it. Uh, but let's click on get landscape here and you'll see running landscape as a software as a service. This is what it'll allow you to do. Uh, landscape on premises behind your firewall. You'll get a well, one more option, custom software repositories. And then Ubuntu Advantage, it's using the landscape with Ubuntu's tech support. And that can be pretty useful as well. So you're running landscape as a service, it costs you one cent per machine per hour. Running landscape on premise, it's free for up to 10 machines. After that, you have to pay for a subscription. And then Ubuntu Advantage, well, it's always scary when they see, when they say C pricing. So let's, if we click this one, set up landscape on premises, it'll actually tell you exactly what we need to do. We need to add another repository because this isn't in the main um, repository. And then we have to install landscape quick start. So I'm going to move this off to here so we can go ahead and do this. Now I don't have to sudo it because I'm already running here as um, root. So I'm going to do apt or add dash apt dash repository and we're going to add dash dash update and it's going to be ppa colon landscape ap there we go landscape forward slash 1910 now you want to probably come through here and um when you go to update hit their website to make sure you get the latest version of it so we're going to add a new repository, press enter to continue, and it's going to add the repository for us. And this is again a non-standard repository, which you'll find lots of software for your Linux systems in non-standard repositories. And you just have to add the repository like this. And then now that we've added it and we've read the packages, um, now we can install the software. So it's apt install landscape if I can type landscape dash server dash quick start and this will launch our process and I'm going to adjust my zoom level and yes I want to do this and so this is going to take a minute to install. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it while it runs through this, and we will pick it up again when it's ready to ask us for our next questions. So in the middle of our installation, it comes up with this screen, and it's wanting to know how we're going to deal with email. So um, practically speaking, what you'd probably do is do an internet site configuration. Um, because I don't have that type of connectivity, and I'm not... I'm just using it as a demo server. I'm not actually going to set it up and run it. Um, I am going to do a local only. And you'll see right up above here this description. Local only means it'll only, uh, only delivered mail is mail for local users. There's no network access. Internet site sent and received directly using e SMTP. Uh, no configuration. We're just not going to do it. So you see it gives you a good breakdown of what all of those are. Now this is Postfix, a mail server configuration. You can install Postfix for handling email without going through all of this as well. But I'm going to do local only. And then I'm going to set the name and I'm just going to leave this as classroom. Now that's going to be important. Um, normally what you'd want to do is you'd want to do an entire... Um, You'd want to do an entire fully qualified domain name. Um, I'm just going to do it single again just because I'm doing a demo, but you'd want to do your fully qualified domain name for it. And then you'll need to make sure you have name resolution set up for that. And that's going to be something we're going to come back to in a little bit. So 
I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and we'll continue along with our installation and again I'll pause it and we'll pick it up after this installation is completed. Okay, so our installation has now finished. Um, now, the next part of it is I need to be able to view this from a web browser. So what I did is I looked up this IP address and normally what we would do is if we're doing this on a live system we'd make sure we added the fully qualified domain name for this system into the uh, DNS server. Well in this case what I did is I just edited my host file and since I'm on a Windows host um, or when yeah my host computer is Windows it's the C Windows System 32 drivers etc host file and so I went into there and I had I went into a command prompt with administrative rights and then navigated to that directory and then issued the command notepad hosts so that it, to make sure that I had access to it and then I just added the entry in there so now what should happen is I should be able to type classroom and it should let's do it this way let's force it to go to that machine name rather than trying to Google classroom now this connection is not private that's fine we're gonna worry about that later it's brand new so I'm gonna to proceed to classroom and here is my landscape configuration so I'm just gonna do the rest of this from the web browser so I'm gonna set my name David Dalton email address is going to be ddalton at yvcc.edu passphrase and verify that passphrase and then sign up okay here we go I am now into landscape being hosted on that device now I have no I've got an account name it's standalone I have no registered computers there remaining configurations at this point I need to connect my other servers to it now in order to do that I'm gonna come over here you can register computers by following these instructions and I click on that and this is gonna tell me how to uh, configure a landscape client. I'm just going to stop it here and we're going to do that in our next video.